Throughout Sans Adventure and Free Government, our basic purposes have been to keep the peace, to foster progress and human achievement, and to enhance liberty, dignity, and integrity among people and among nations. Progress toward these noble goals is persistently threatened by the conflict now engulfing the galaxy. It commands our whole attention, absorbs our very beings. We face a hostile entity, galactic in scope, alien in character, ruthless in purpose and insidious in method. However, both survival and liberty are at stake. We cannot and will not choose between them. Despite every provocation by any species, we shall remain on our charted course towards permanent peace and human betterment. A vital element in keeping the peace is our military establishment. Our military organization today bears little relation to that known in peacetime or by veterans of the Pegasi Pirate War. Until the latest of galactic conflicts, Sirius Inc. had no armaments industry, but as of last December, we have been enveloped by one. Multiple stations under the control of Aegis Research appeared in our sovereign territory. Added to this, millions of undocumented workers, including war criminals, now reside here. Their weapons and crimes are numerous. This conjunction of an immense military establishment and a large arms industry is new to the Pleiades and to Sirius Inc. While seemingly imperative to the galactic community, it has grave implications for us. Our toil, resources, and livelihood are all involved. So is the very structure of our society. We are under siege by Aegis Research after their failed coup attempt in 42N per se. This and subsequent attack by Aegis have Sirius Inc. on wartime footing. While many welcome Aegis as defenders of humanity, Sirius Inc. rejects their territorial claims and underhanded methods. We refuse to be intimidated by Aegis mercenaries or megaships like the uninvited Acropolis of Irinda. This flight operations carrier is a clear violation of galactic treaty and socio-political norms. In theory, Acropolis is a shield against alien aggression. In practice, Acropolis is a sword of militarism. We must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for a disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. We must never let the weight of this combination endanger our liberties or democratic processes. We should take nothing for granted. Only an alert and knowledgeable citizenry can compel the proper meshing of defense industries with our peaceful methods and goals, so that security and liberty may prosper together. The prospect of domination, both physical and intellectual, by Aegis Research is ever-present and should be viewed critically. While holding scientific research and discovery in respect, we must not subordinate public policy to the will of a scientific technological elite. While holding economic progress and corporatism in respect, we must not consent to rule by shadowy brokers and corporate shills. We must instead blaze our own trail. So use the Sanal Red system where applicable. And remember to keep calm, but stay serious.